boys and girls. It is time for my gear review. Here is my life in a bag for the next six months. So uh, let's get started and jump into uh, what I'll be taking this year on the Pacific Crest Trail. So uh, what's gonna be on my person? So everything that's not in my bag, I will show you first. I have Cascade Trek Poles. These are extendable clip kind. I used these last year on the Appalachian. I really liked them, so they weren't broke. No, no point in changing it or fixing it. So I got, I did get a new pair. Um, I definitely will need two because my tent, the Hyperlight Ultimate Two, requires uh, trek poles in order to set it up. So I'll need those. Um, hopefully, I don't break one. Um, I'm going to be starting with Ultra Lone Peaks. So Ultra actually donated these to me in order to do a review on them. Um, they also hooked me up with some gators, some Ultra Gators. Uh, we'll see how I like those. I'll be starting with those. Um, I have my uh, Royal Robins button up. Uh, my clothes are still a little blah. I'm going to have to work out some kinks with those. That's something I've always struggled with. But I used this on the AT. It was great in the beginning. I think it'll be good to uh, protect me from the sun in the desert. So I'm going to start with that. Um, I have the same style tank top I used. My pink and my purple one on the Appalachian Trail. Um, it's an Under Armour. Kind of a sheer really breathable tank top. I know black probably isn't the most ideal for the desert, but this is the only color they had left because they don't make them anymore, so I'm going with it. Um, I have the Belief skirt again that I ended with on the Appalachian Trail, only this time I have a new one. This is a pink one. I had a gray one last year. I put some feathers on it. It has the built-in shorts. I love these because it has the pockets that hold my phone. I do all my filming and everything with my phone. I'm taking the Samsung V40, which is the video version, and I'm using it right now, and we'll see how much I like it. I'm gonna have two pairs of underwear. I'm using the Smart Wool kind. I used these last year on the Appalachian, and I loved them. They fell apart pretty bad, but they were comfortable, and they breathe really well. So anyway, I'm gonna go with those. I also picked up a new sports bra, it's a little off-brand um, that I got at Target, but it's so flippin' soft. And my other one, what is it? It is an Auden. But my other one was just so uncomfortable that I decided I was gonna switch. The only thing I don't like is it only came in this color. It would probably be nice if it had been a black one or something, but it's just gonna look real nasty by the end of this hike, but that's all right. Um, I got another pair of my famous, infamous knee highs because I hate hiking in pants. These are smart wool socks. I often layer them with my darn tufts. Um, these are my darn tufts I used on the Appalachian. Uh, they don't have holes worn in them quite yet, so until they do, uh, I'm just going to keep using them. Um, I have my Cricut neck knife. I use this for all kinds of little odds and ends. Um, also very handy for opening a bear canister um, without straining your fingers, especially when it's cold, which I will show you that later on down the road. Um, I'm not starting with my bear canister. Um, I did get one, but there's only certain sections on the PCT that you need it. So I have a regular food bag this time to start, and then there'll be gear that I'll be switching out. I also have a, a ice pick, or whatever you call it, a hiking axe, snow axe. I have a snow axe. No, oh, it's gonna be the first time I've used it. Um, but anyway, I'll show you all that as well. I'm also starting with some rock tape for my knees. Um, I have some knee issues here and there, so I figured just take that and start with that to knock it out. All right, let's move into the big stuff. All right, so here's everything. Um, this is the Hyperlite Windrider uh, 40 liter pack. This is the exact same pack basically I used last year um, on the Appalachian Trail, only they upgraded some of the features of it that people had complained about, including thicker straps and bigger waistband pockets. Um, so yeah, and it's black instead of white this year. So I'm gonna try it. You can get white, but um, I just wanted to be different. <laughs> Every year I've always carried the two, two liters of water. I do one with the sip top. This is great so that I don't have to carry a filter syringe to clean backwash my filter. Um, this works great and fits right on there to backwash this guy. So I take two liters of there. This is the Micro Sawyer. So it's basically the same weight as the Mini that I loved, only it's got the back flow, the faster flow of the Sawyer Squeeze, which is a lot heavier. Um, so I'm excited to try that out. Um, I also have a Platypus um, bag here, two liter. 
I'm gonna be in the desert. I don't know how much water I'm gonna need, but I figured uh, the more the merrier as far as options to carry water probably wouldn't hurt me. I'm taking my Lucy lamp again, Lulu lamp. Um, I have my pistol hat. On the top here, I have my marmot coat, raincoat, wind coat, uh, dual purpose. I also have this extra little waterproof sack on the front. Uh, last year, I kept a sack on the front as well. It was a Sea to Summit. They're, it was waterproof too and a lot lighter than this guy's. This is the Field and Stream five liter bag. Um, but I got holes in it and I really needed it to drop my phone in when it started raining and things like that. Um, I also keep my journal in my, um, all my little odds and ends I'm about to show you. So I got some extra rock tape in here. Um, I also have all my toiletries. I have extra O-rings for my Sawyer because those things disappear and wear out like you won't believe. I have a patch for my air mattress, um, a collapsible brush, toothpaste, um, some sunscreen, a bar of soap, lots of aspirin, Tylenol. I have nail clippers, tweezers, um, and a toothbrush, you know, whatever you need to feel cleanly out there. So you'll have your toiletries. I also have a little thing of deodorant because I'm such a girl that I tried to be all hippie on the AT and after a week and a half, I was like, I didn't want to smell myself anymore. I prefer to smell nature, so <laughs> you get pretty potent. So I do, I am one of the odd ones that uses and carries deodorant. Um, this is a little dual power pack. I use this on the AT, it's just so I can double charge things whenever I get to hostels or wherever I'm gonna stay when I get a chance to. My little journal with some art pages in it. I also attach inside my SIM cards, my extra SIM cards and the key to open my phone because this is what I use for all my videoing. So it's all in here. Um, won't lose that, keep that in there. Uh, another novelty is all my watercolor pencils and stuff that I do my art with. So that's not anything necessity. I'm using the same brand Spork. This is the Light My Fire, but this is the plastic one instead of the titanium. I switched because I always felt like the titanium might, might poke through one of my bags or wherever. I shoved it in a million different places throughout my hike last year. Um, so I decided to switch to the plastic because I really don't feel like this is going to do any true damage like the titanium. Uh, digging a little deeper, I have my same little pot, my trusty pot from the AT. There is something weird about us through hikers. Once we have a, a cooking pot, we like tend to like fall in love with it and it becomes a part of us, no matter how scrubby it looks. I think we even like it when it becomes scrubbier <laughs> and beat up. I still don't even have, I started last year on the Appalachian without a handle and I still don't have one, but it's okay. I love it. Um, I have a new Sea to Summit collapsible cup mug. I use this for not only making oatmeal in, but my drinks, everything all in one collapses. It's great. Mine lasted me the entire hike last year until the very last like week. Um, I have this extra little uh, light load cloth that I think I got at Trail Days and some butane. Obviously stuffed inside here because you can't cook anything without that. Let's see how it cooks up. All right. I also got a Z Pax little seat. Little seat. I don't know how long I'll hold on to this. It was nice when I had one for a while on the Appalachian last year. Um, I'm thinking desert, there's going to be a lot of hard places and not so many mossy places to sit. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not a wuss. I could probably do without it. I have my Hyperlite straps. These are actually to set up my tent. I have my tent stakes in here. These aren't Hyperlite brand tent stakes. These are different. Uh, they are titanium, so they're pretty light. Um, and I have eight of them in here for my tent. I have my Zero Flip Flops Camp Shoes, um, slash, uh, River Crossers. <laughs> uh, I used these on the Appalachian. They were about 80 bucks. I love these things. I hope they last this entire hike, but I don't know if they will or not. I picked up this waterproof case for the fancy shades I bought. So I got some Maui gems. These bad boys are sick. I usually can't stand wearing sunglasses. I have this weird claustrophobic thing on my face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I dropped a pretty penny on these. I guess they're like one grade below not being legal to drive in. I'm like, is that a thing? I guess it's a thing. Anyway, so I have sunglasses. Um, <laughs> in a case that won't get waterlogged like the one it came with. It came with. Um, I also have some Skull Candy earbuds. Uh, I saw a lot of people with fancy earbuds out on the trail last year and they just got trashed. 
Um, so I'm not going fancy, I'm going easy to replace. This side pocket usually consists of my snacks for the day, um, toilet paper, hand sanitizer, extra hair clips, and I'm gonna have an umbrella this year on the trail um, to protect me from the shade. Um, I wanna say I'm gangster and, and can just do the hat thing. And I, I, I'd rather be hot than cold, but uh, I don't wanna be miserable. So I'm bringing it as an option. We'll see if, if I keep it. Uh, I lost my original handkerchief that I used on the Appalachian. I was really sad at the airport on the way here. So I had to pick up a new one, but you know, I guess whatever. It was just sentimental for some odd reason. Um, and I also have a little thermometer slash uh, <laughs> compass thing here. I guarantee you I'm going to probably get rid of that after all the, ah, wait. But, you know, you're all going home in the beginning, so you add on extra things. All right, let's go into my side pockets. I have my hiker wallet, little uh, granite gear, same one I used last year. All my permits rolled up in here. I'm doing a different stove. I have a backup MSR stove that I used on the Appalachian last year, but this is the BRS. Darwin used it, and I figured I'd give it a shot. It's way lighter. It's way smaller. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I, I fired it up once or twice already just to see if it, it works. So uh, anyway, um, for my food bag, because I'm not starting with the bear canister, I got a Z-Pax food bag. This is a little rock sack that you use with your bear hanging string that, you know, jacket over a tree or whatever to hang your food bag. I also have an each pocket, one of these anchor um, power blocks. These take about a day to recharge. Um, and each one can charge my phone about six times. Um, it might be overkill, but I am using my phone for all my videoing and everything. So we'll see. Um, I just figured I'd start with them and if I don't need them or don't need as much, I'll send it home or swap it out with something else. But, um, the thing I liked about these is they were a little bit smaller than the black web one that I carried last year. So I figure, um, a little bit of a space saver to a certain extent. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't make that big of a difference. At any rate, and moving over to this other side pocket. I have a lighter. I got a pretty one this time. And another Darwin inspired item. Uh, this is the Yuko rechargeable headlamp. Um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Another one of those things, I'm going to either hate it or love it. Um, and then I, again, I have another one of these anchor block, power blocks um, with my four ocean sticker because I support them. I got the orchids and the polar bears here. Um, <laughs> anyway, I got two different colors just so that I can make sure I know which one I charged last, if I only get time to charge one or whatever. And some power cords for all that jazz in here. She's packed to the brim. <laughs> no joke. Okay, I got my clothes bag. This is actually how I will pack my bag um, because when I get to camp, this is how I like everything to be. Um, my clothes bag is an oddball thing on the top, but it's nice to have there in case I need to grab or switch something out, um, which doesn't happen very often, but it's it's where it ends up. I have a turtle fur, turtle fur, I have a turtle fur buff. Um, it's a lot warmer than your average buff. Like I said, I hate being cold, so I'm taking that. Might use it to sleep in if I need to. And a Sunday hat with the cool sunglass holders. Oh, uh, big pimpin'. <laughs> I also have some darn tough so another pair of darn tough socks. Um, I have some town shorts. And I have a new smart wool long sleeve. It's very sheer, um, but supposed to be really warm little hoodie long sleeve. We'll see how this serves me. Um, I'm figuring it's going to be a mix between town clothes and sleeping clothes for that uh, to go with my shorts. Um, and we have the one other tank top, so I don't know. I might be working my clothes around some more. We'll see how that goes, but I'm leaving soon, so it is what it is for right now. <clears throat> um, for pants, I always feel like you got to have at least one pair of pants, some type of pants. Um, I have North Face again. I had tried over the winter a pair of Patagonia ones and uh, ended up going back and getting another pair of the North Face Fast Dry um, hiking pants. They're really soft inside and they don't chafe. They're just, they're cozy. So going with those. 
Another thing I'm trying, I don't know if this was Darwin that inspired these ones, these this item or not, but I think he does use them. Um, anything else in there? My other pair of underwear. My other smart wall underwear. Um, these are by Z-Packs. You can get just a couple different companies that make them. Enlightened Equipment also makes them. But they're sleeping socks. And apparently they're just the most amazing thing. You can't walk around in them. They're not like camp slippers or nothing. Um, they are just for sleeping in. They're about 70 bucks a pop. But they are just basically some extra cozy socks for um, at night when you're sleeping in, cold, in the cold. And my toe box on my Enlightened Equipment sleeping bag can be kind of open. And in reviews, I've seen that you can get kind of drafts down there. I'm personally one of those people who hates to sleep in socks. <laughs> so these are um, just loose enough, I feel like, though, that I mean, it's not going to drive me insane. We'll see. <laughs> I'll let y'all know on that. So moving right inside, so I have my Arcteric Puffy. I got this at um, REI on sale, so I was pretty stoked. It wasn't the Arcteric coat I was shooting for, but beggars can't be choosers. Um, I wasn't actually gonna get one with a hood, but I got one with a hood because that's what was on sale in this fabulous color. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, next in my bag is my Hyperlite Ultimate um, tent with the half insert, Ultimate 2. You guys can see my video on that. I also have the footprint or ground cloth that goes with it right on the top because when I get to camp, I pull that out, set up my tent. Uh, the next things that items I have is my Climate uh, air mattress. The static, I used this guy on the Appalachian and loved it. Held up like a champ. Smells like a champ. <laughs> uh, but I love that thing. Um, I also brought with me my Cedar Summit pillow again this time. Uh, last year on the Appalachian, I had sent this home. If you watched my gear review video of everything I took on the AT, I regretted sending this home. Um, I can't emphasize enough how much a good night's sleep can change a day. <laughs> so... That being said, I'm taking my pillow again. Next in line, once I have my tent set up, my air mattress out, I pull out my sleeping bag. I did a video on this with a little more detail, but this is the Enlightened Equipment Revelation Quilt. I did a 900 fill. It's a zero degree bag. Um, you get to pick your colors. Um, I did orange on the inside for like a safety thing. If I ever need to get someone's attention and then the dark on the outside just to keep Keep it cleaner looking. My last sleeping bag was very light colored. And then the last but not least, my Z Packs food bag. So I've got my food bag here. This bad boy is stuffed and ready to go. It weighs a million pounds. Um, so this is by Z Packs. Uh, that little rock sack I showed you, you attach that with the, the bear string. Sling that over with a bag of rocks, hang it from a tree at night so you don't attract any critters because squirrels, chipmunks, bears, whatever, will come trying to get it <laughs> if you don't hang it. And that's it. That's all she wrote, folks. So once I get my sleeping bag in there, my tent set up, I pull out my food and make dinner and do the game. And I'll share all that with you when I'm out there. But right now, I'm in beautiful San Diego. Check this out. Let me show you my epic view. I'm staying here at Paradise Point. This is torture, y'all. <laughs> this is how you got to do it. I'm going to be here for about a week before I head out. As you can tell, I'm working on my sunburn so that uh, <laughs> I have a good base, I suppose, for the desert. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go enjoy some time here now before I head out on this next grand adventure. Love you guys. Thanks for following and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, check out my Patreon account. You're going to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff and extra things that I'm just not gonna try to cram into my YouTube channel.